Well, hi, I'm Holly. Welcome to my floss tube, Hobbies of Holly. This is episode five. That's kind of hard to believe, isn't it? This is a place where I talk about cross stitch, sometimes quilting, sometimes other things, but mostly cross stitch. How are you all? I hope you had a great Easter. Um, we did, it was a little eventful, but um, we had a good Easter. We spent it at the hospital. I'm gonna just start off with really great news. Are you ready? Graham went home from the hospital. He was discharged on the 5th and we are so thankful and he is very happy to be home. He's very weak, um, lost a lot of muscle tone as one would expect for being intubated that long and having sepsis, but he's happy and has his toys and it's really good to have him home. So that's our good news. We had some sad news. Um, the day he came home, my mother-in-law had a stroke, a pretty major stroke, and she passed away on Monday. So um, that part's been very hard. Since it's here, I'm gonna show it to you right now. Um, my husband and I, his name is Steve, we've been married 41 years. And he has always had an artistic side, which he doesn't really use that much anymore. But in high school art, um, he loved it. He took all four years of art. And he painted this painting, which he gave to his mother. And I always wanted it so badly. And now I'm happy to have it, but I'm sad at the circumstances that I have it. That I have it. Look at this, would you? Isn't this great? The still life. I'm very proud of him. Um, she had another one that he painted as well, and I've already hung that in our great room, but I wanted to show you that one before we hung it up today. So it's been a somber week in our house, but we absolutely did not want her to suffer. She was 88, and she, um, she was a strong lady, and she'll be greatly missed, but that's kind of the sad news of our week. But let's talk about cross-stitch. Um, I have some whips to show you. I have, of course, some haul to show you. I don't think I have, oh, you know what? I have one finish, and that is the model stitch I was working on for Kathy Barrick. I've already mailed it back, so if I can figure out how, I will add a photo at the end of my video today if you care to see it. It was very fun to stitch. Um, I didn't want to put it down. I think because inside the lion itself, there were small motifs. So it was very fun to complete those or color complete, etc. So I've mailed that off to the finisher and hopefully she'll get to release that soon. Um, we had the eclipse come through um, Dayton, Ohio this week. Did you? Was it not spectacular? Um, we have had partial eclipse before. In fact, I think the last one is in 2017 and it was in the summer. So it was shocking that when things went darker, the daytime animals stopped and the nighttime time animals came out. So we could hear like crickets and frogs and that kind of thing. I have my back door open. I hope the birds aren't noisy out there or distracting. I'm sorry if they are. And I'll know next time. Just tell me if they are. But... Um, after the eclipse, I came home and thought, I want to start something. Th this is momentous. I should start something. And then responsible Holly thought, oh, you should probably work on a whip. And the perfect one came to mind. Moonshine Cabin from Modern Folk Embroidery. Let me show you the chart first. This is the chart. I purchased it from Evertote in Canada. And I have the invoice in my bag and it was purchased in 2021. So I'm pretty sure this is my oldest whip. I'm gonna show it to you. And I'm also gonna tell you the problem that I'm having and you tell me what you would do. So this is where I am. Um, this is actually a very dark blue fabric. I'm sorry, I don't have anything behind it. Let's try this, is that better? Um, when I picked it up, actually I'd put it away because I was off in these stitches and I got frustrated and put it away. So I, what was that? Monday night, removed my mistakes and started fresh in this area and got a lot of that done. But I thought, I wanna stitch the moon right now. So I worked my way up, I'm not great at counting, so that I could get to the moon. Can you see the variegation in that thing? This is all with Roxy floss. And the, this is the kit basically I got at that point in time with a project bag and a uh, notions bag. This is the floss, it's a little messy in here. But the blue 
is called grunge. That is messy also. Um, for that blue part of the moon. I just thought the variegation was so pretty. So I continued to work on it last night and realized as I was working on part of the roof of the house that in my haste to start, I did not take into consideration that the trim of the roof went up higher than I started on the green. So I'm gonna be off, which is going to greatly affect the leaves and vines in there. What would you do? The other problem, and I'm not taking that moon out, like we'll work around that. I am a move forward, not backward kind of girl like Jean at the Attic says to be, I obey. Um, my other problem is 2021 Holly Stitcher didn't know as much as 2024 Holly Stitcher. And so maybe you can't see it, but like my windows and some of that just looks so messy to me now. And I think I've said before, I'm a frustrated perfectionist so the perfectionist in me would really like to rip that out and fix it. But I also move forward, not backwards. And so it went back to timeout. It spent a long time in timeout because I have to work through if I keep my messy stitches and how I'm going to fix my counting error. One day, <laughs> I'll get it finished, right? Oh, I almost just wanted to give it away and say, forget it. But look at it. It's so pretty. I should figure it out. Also, so I started it in 2021. Sarah's Stitchery inspired me. I think it was last winter, maybe. She got it out and finished it. And I messaged her and I said, I'm going to finish mine. I indeed did not because I had made the mistakes. So here I am again. Tell me what you would do. I'm going to throw things on the floor. Um, another thing I told you I was going to work on, and so I did because I told you I was going to, was Kathy Barrick, A-H-T-E-E, -E, which I've shown you a few times. Love this chart. One thought. So the letters in here seem random to me, but many of them are family initials for me. Um, my father, my mother, my sister, my brother, and I thought it might be fun to do family of origin initials, but then I would have to figure out how to chart some of them, but not many. So that's a thought. This is the one that Kia and I started together, and it's on 5260, which is really tiny stitches. So my eyes can only handle a little bit at a time. So I did this M sometime this week when I stitched on it. And I was like, okay, got to put it away. But my father's name was Michael. So I thought of him as I stitched that. And that's what made me think, oh, I would like to maybe use family initials um, instead of the ones that are charted. All right, what else? Oh. Where is my chart? There it is. I also said I wanted to work on Martha Walmsley. And I've told you before how much I love this. I mean, look, the colors. Ugh. This is another one that I seem to only be able to work on a little bit at a time, but I got some more finished. I got this flower finished last night after I gave up on Moonshine Cabin. And it makes me want to sit down and work some more on it. If I show you that this is how much I've stitched, I'm going to show you on the chart that that means I've stitched pretty much right there. That's it. Oh, and a little bit of this. So I have a lot to go and it's taken me a while. But do you follow Joe Florence on Instagram? Because if you do not, stop right now. Go follow her on Instagram, then come back and finish the video. Her photos and her stitching are absolutely amazing. She finished this quickly when it came out and she's the one I keep thinking, I'll be like Joe, I'll get it finished. But I really want to get this good. I also love the verse on here. The Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. Love that. So I worked on that a little bit. What else? <laughs> I want to show you another error. Please tell me that you make as many mistakes as I do. This one's an alphabet. How hard could it be, right? Apparently hard. This is from one of Nicola's red boxes. I I think this was in the wow box, the words of wisdom box. Would that be right? No, I think it was in the initial box. It is Fanny Hussey, and I think it's really pretty. 
and I thought, oh, that'll be a quick stitch. I can get that out. I would love to have a red sampler well. So I started it. I'm making good progress, but could you look at my alphabet at the top? How did I not catch that? I have stitched A, B, C, E, D, E, F, G. So E is there twice. That's another one that just went to time out because I was so frustrated with myself, but it would not be that hard to take out those letters, right? Maybe I'll take that. Maybe I'll make that a travel project to, to frog that. I don't think there's any way to move forward on that. Do you? I even thought, okay, maybe I could just start all over, but I'd already cut my fabric. So I think I just need to fix it. I could do it, right? Encourage me, please. That's another Holly, frustrated perfectionist yet cannot count, nor does she know her ABCs. Okay, this one I'm excited to show you. So you know we've talked about the butt god pattern and sow. So, sweet Mrs. Smith Stitches, Alana, and I are working together on this a lot, and then there are tons of other people who are stitching it, and I am so honored. And um, By the Bay Needle Art, Donna is so sweet. So this is the chart that we're working on. And I think I had told you last time that barring any unforeseen circumstances, I was gonna start it the first week of April. And I did, and I love it. I'm, tr I'm working really hard to not just stitch it all the way through because I wanna stitch it with you all. So I'm gonna take my time and stitch it. Sometimes when I really love something, I can be monogamous, but here is what I've done so far. I have not put the red in those hearts yet because it calls for, she did road stitches and I will save those to last to decide if I either wanna do cross stitches or road stitches, uh, but I really love it. This fabric is Boston Tea Party by LFA Linen and I've changed some of the floss, some because I didn't have and some because I preferred a different color. So let's talk about it. I, th I think I pulled a wrong one for this. I have pulled caper for one of the colors. I think I'm using that for the darkest green. That's a week's color. Let me put it up against something white. Can you see caper? I also changed to bean sprouts. I thought that um, kind of brightened it up a little bit. I am a little eclectic. I love so many things, but I wouldn't call myself prim and I wouldn't call myself like a lover of all bright things. I'm somewhere in the middle, which makes me a little hodgepodgey. Another green I chose was this Roxy Artichoke. I am using the um, Schenectady Weeks and Curry, I think that's called for, which is a little bit bright, but I like it. And I brightened up the red and I'm using the Gentle Art Current. I thought that was really pretty. I'm anxious to get to some red. And then I bought hanks of the misdyed color and cotton a while back. And I've been itching to use one of them. And so this is the white I'm using. And let's see, I think it just had like a number on it. I have lots of this. If anybody wants a few strands, I can help you with that. But this it's this sort of white. And because I chose a darker fabric, I can get by with that white. But I know a couple of, there's my white. Well, there's not it, there it is. I know a couple of people are struggling a little bit with the white showing on their fabric. One is my sister-in-law, Andrea, who just lives around the corner from me and she just stopped by and um, we maybe found her a better white for her fabric. I know Jenny from the Bougie Stitchers, don't you love the Bougies? She mentioned she's also um, maybe going to tweak her colors a little bit. So if you are struggling with that, keep an eye out to see what she decides as well. So um, we can call it a start along. We can call it a stitch along. I don't really have a time frame on it. I'm not going to set any limits, but I just want to stitch on it. So I hope you all are okay with that and just stitch along too and show me your progress on Instagram. Tell me about it in the comments but it is very satisfying. I think because you have these motifs to stitch. And so each time I've completed one, I feel like, oh, got something finished. So I'm anxious to move, I'm gonna move down and do um, 
the fence and the grass. And then I'm, I haven't decided what color I want to stitch butt god in. I like it in the green, but I sort of thought about putting it in the red. Do you think that would be too much or pretty? Um, and then again with the leaves, I, I think I'll stick with the color I had chosen, which I think is caper, but I might switch it up a little bit too with some of the greens. So that's what I'm working on. And would this be a time, good time to tell you about the giveaway winners for it? I think yes. So I purchased an extra chart to give away and Sweet Donna sent one for a giveaway. So I have two to give away. So I drew two names. So the winners of these two charts are Carol Fawcett, 1297, and Francelle, 1027. I didn't write it down, but if that is you, please be over 18 and please contact me on my email below and I will get these copies to you. Again, that is um, Carol Fawcett, 1297, and Francelle, 1027. While we're talking about that, um, I have not heard back from Anita Meyer, 9465, about the cookbook. So I'll give you until my next floss tube, which I don't know, a week or two, um, to contact me at my email, email so I can get this mailed out to you. Okay? Okay. Since we're talking about giveaways, this seems like a good time to do this. Um, in my haul, I get really excited and carried away when I find a good D-stash. And I found another good D-stash and bought a chart, which I love. And when I got it, I thought, this looks familiar. And I looked at my app and I already have it. So I'm going to give it to you. This is Hello from Liz Matthews, Clara Hansen. I think it's beautiful. I can't, I haven't decided if I want to stitch it as one piece or as, as the pillow or the um, drum. I'm sort of leaning toward the pillow and the drum. So since I'm going to give this away, does anybody want to do a stitch along? Do you have this? I would, I love one color stitches. Um, so let's use the word hello. If you would like to win this chart, of course, be over 18. Don't use any of the words that trigger the bad guys. And I would love to give this to you. Okay, next in my piles. How about previous finishes? Those were fun. Okay, this is my next thing sitting here. I know I told you I was stitching um, Modern Folk Embroidery Moonshine Cabin. Oh, I'm sorry about the glare. This is um, an early stitch for me, early, like when it came back to cross stitch. I can tell because it's on Ada. Probably early 2021, maybe spring, I stitched this and I love it. Mostly because the words are so fitting for me that Jane Austen quote, ah, there is nothing like staying at home for real comfort. Home is my happy place. If I could stay home weeks on end, I would do it. Give me my pajamas and my house and my stitchy stuff and I am a happy girl. So this was a very fun stitch um, by Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery. I am not the best at borders meeting up and this is no different. So I had to do a little bit of tweaking but it lined up pretty well with my tweaking and I thought it was really beautiful. So this hangs um, on my entry stairway a lot of the time of the year, but um, I switch it up with some winter things. My mother was also an artist, and so I have a lot of her paintings, and there's a winter painting that I put there um, when we have snow, but I was getting ready to hang this up, and I thought, oh, I'll show you. So that is a previous finish that I love. The fabric, I believe, is a dolly mat. No, that can't be because it's an Ada. Don't remember, but I know that the floss is a Roxy chalkboard floss, and I loved using it. Hopefully nothing will crash. Okay, two more previous finishes. I love Stacy Nash. And see, that's my prim side because I think she's prim, do you? I think, but she uses a brighter palette maybe, I don't know. So I wanna show you two Stacy Nash finishes. But also I wanna tell you, I am still looking for Maggie Mae, that cute little bunny. Everybody seems to be sold out. Does anybody have it or know of any place that does? I'm on lists and I'll find it. Hopefully I'll find it in the wild sometime. But. This is Caroline's Pouch. I believe this was Homespun Needlework on Facebook, one of the first kits I bought from them. This is now available in shops and from Stacey Nash. 
I love stitching houses. I loved this so much that I stitched this straight through monogamously. I could not put it down. I started, I think here. So there's a lot, oh, I keep getting a hair in my eyes, I'm sorry. There's a lot of counting in this portion, but then as it flipped over to the house, I was in love, couldn't stop stitching. So my iPad fits really nice in here. When I bought it, it was an entire kit that we had the wool to line it, Etc. I think, I don't know if there's a kit available now or just a pattern, but Caroline's Pouch, Stacy Nash. Let's see if I can show you close up. Another Stacy Nash that is a previous finish is this needle book. And wouldn't I be good if I knew the name of it, but I don't. I can find it for you. If you, if you need it, put it in the comments and I'll find it. But this needle book, I got to meet her at a guild was it a guild a group of stitchers in kentucky hosted it and so this was the kit that we got for attending i loved every bit of this stitch um and then i made the needle book it was one of my early finishes so i don't know if i did it all right but it's fun the um little ends have one over one initials stitched on it this was my first one over one so again there's room for improvement, but I'm pretty happy with it. It worked, but it's not so pretty. I don't use it for a needle book because it's too pretty and I just have it on display in that white piece behind me over there. What else do I wanna tell you? Let's talk about haul. Remember I said, I gotta be better. Was I better? I, in fact, was not better. I've said so many times to my friends, do not let me buy another project bag. I have so many project bags. Had to have this project bag by Como Stitches. Jess is so sweet. She does um, an Etsy load every Friday night. Um, and her, her project bags are so nice. Sorry about the zip, but they're lined. They have a nice feel to them, just the right amount of, um, what's that word, batting. Um, so that's a new bag for me. Speaking of the Homestead Needlework, Homespun, I always get the word wrong. Homespun Needlework Group on Facebook um, and Stacey, Stacey Nash, I got my kit for the Stacey Nash. And I already mentioned I love stitching houses. This is Rose Hill Farm Sampler and Pen Keeps. Um, it came with the fabric and the floss from Acorns and Threads. And they also sent us this cute little notebook. So I'm trying to decide, I wanna start it really badly, but I should keep working on whips, right? I don't know. Um, I think that Colorado Cross Stitch talked about this, and I did not know this existed. I love Aline's um, tacky glue, but it comes in this pen form. So I got myself right on Amazon and ordered two packs of those because um, Sherry glues her, her trim on when she uses the Baker's Twine. And I thought these are perfect to not give you too much glue. So I'm excited to try those. My friend Shelly influenced me and enabled me. I tend to love a whole collection of floss. I might have a couple of collections, but I got all the flower thread colors. Aren't they pretty? And although I like to stitch on higher count linens, I have a lot of 28 and 32. And so I thought this would be a good way to use up that linen. So I'm excited to organize those. I have, in fact, it's right here, this box that Shelly has hers in, but I only have the true drawer, two drawer version. So I thought I would try putting them in, but it might not fit. If not, I have some empty drawers on my white cabinet behind me and I can put it in there. But I have all of my floss in um, another room. And so I'd like to have them in that wooden box. So I might have to buy the four drawer if it doesn't fit. They might fit. I also got an order from 
Nicola from um, Number 12 Stitch Co. And I think I talked to her about her last time. Oh, she makes beautiful things. Her linen is delicious. This is Celica 46 count. I also got some trims. This is a thin trim, but I could probably use the glue on, but can you see their sparkle to it? Love. Also, I got it in green with sparkle. And I, like I said, I'm just gonna glue that on. I got some pom-pom trim of hers. And I got some of her, um, oh, this is actually Lady Dot. She sells some Lady Dot things. What else? Oh, more palm trim. Um, I love her floss drops. And so I ordered these floss drops. And then she had a kit of this Blackbird tart, which is my dear hearts. I'm sorry about the glare. But her kit is just for a small piece that's pictured in, mm, that's not true. It's just for a portion of the chart. I'll have to go back and make sure, but she has the beads, the floss, um, the fabric, which she stitches it on this, isn't that great? And the backing. So I would like to stick that in my starts because it's small, right? Just today, my color and cotton order came. Speaking of 32, this is the club 32 count linen that arrived today. Oh, I don't know that it's showing up well. But it's a really nice tan. I guess I should also say if yours hasn't come yet, look away for a minute. These are the flosses. I get um, the five skeins of primitive and the 10 skeins of all colors. Okay, are you looking away if you don't wanna see it? Look away. This is the primitive. That is pretty. Then these are the all skein, I'm sorry, the um, all colors. Mine is missing one because I gave one to my sister-in-law, Andrea, for her But God Sal because it's a very nice white. Sorry if that gave it away if you haven't gotten yours. But I thought those were really nice colors. Um, again, with me and my D-Stash purchases, oh, I thought I took everything out of bags. I, in fact, did not. I'll just scoot it around. I bought these two kits, these two Blackbird kits. They're full kits to make those projects. And I also bought um, 36 count r, r Liberty Gathering Gray fabric. Sorry about that crinkle. Then I bought kits on D-Stash. The first one, I bought these two things from the same person. Um, this is Holly House Designs Christmas Holly. I've already told you that holly was not common when I was a child, and so anything with holly on it, I'm usually going to buy it. But isn't this a cute little small? And it says my name. And it was a full kit. So I'm excited to stitch that. Also from her, I got the Scarlet House Roses for Ruby kit. My youngest granddaughter's name is Ruby, so I had to have it, obviously. Also, it doesn't look that overwhelming to stitch. And I like that there's kind of ruby color in it. So that came with fabric and the Belsois silk. Sorry. And I love this. Remember I had just told you how much I love the shower rings? This kit from D-Stash came with on a shower ring, so that made me happy. Go look. That's pretty. Oh, I need to start that, don't you think? The next thing I bought in the D stash, and all of them came in the zipper envelopes. Isn't that nice? Lottie Da, whom I love and got to meet at um, Quilter Station Retreat a couple years ago. But this is Little Brick House, and it came with wools, and I've not stitched with wools. So I thought of Shelly again, and I should stitch that. So here is the Lottie Da Little Brick House. I think that'll be a quick stitch too. Um, I found with hospital stitching, when I go help with the grandkids and they take naps, things on 32 count, I can get by without magnification. So these are handy to take with me. Okay, let's talk about that. I 
really, really missed Brenda and Laura for all those weeks they were gone. Like I was getting antsy. And so I loved watching them on Sunday and they talked about whips and kits, Heidi from whips and kits. I went to YouTube and started watching her. I love her. She is fantastic. She's got a great sense of humor. I love everything she stitches, but whichever episode I'm watching, she's talking about a really high count. Let's say it's at least 46 count and she does not need magnification. I think she said she's a grandmother. How can she not need magnification? I thought, I don't know if you can see mine behind me, my big old light that I use with magnification. Anyways, 32 count, I can get by. Another one I bought was Scarlet House, the Smith Sampler. And again, I thought of Mrs. Smith Stitches because she is stitching this, I think for their anniversary or something. And I really like the fact that this is in rows because that gives me satisfaction to complete. And so I would like to start that. That came with pattern and floss. The next one is Hannah Elliott by Needlework Press. I love the colors in this. Isn't it pretty? And I thought it's set up so that if I wanted to, you know, remove a row or move something up or down, I could do that. I like flexibility. I change my mind, especially if I'm itching to get something finished. Sometimes I'll think, ah, I'll just do this. That came with the um, 103 silk and fabric, which is Thai iced tea. Legacy, and I've told you how much I love Legacy. How am I ever gonna decide what to start or if I should work on whips? What do you do? More people I love are Welcome Stitchery. Justine and Shelly, as soon as I see that they've released a floss tube, I hurry over there. They make me laugh. They're like stitching with friends. I did get to meet them at StitchCon our first year. Um, Tam and I loved them. We waited in line to check in with them. But they had the primitive hair come to Welcome Stitchery, and she was showing these needle books she has. And although I don't always use needle books, um, the primitive hair, you stitch what count the needles are to put in there. And so they're going to be starting a club and I wanted to get this and it was on D stash. Of course I had to have it. Um, also it looks small, like I could manage that. And it came with the floss. Um, is anybody else guilty of this? Like I grab a needle out of a pack and then I have no idea what size it is. And it just goes in with my other needles. I'm sure there's a chart or something I could figure it out, but I'm finding I'm not too picky if it's 26 or 28. Maybe that's wrong, but it works for me. Okay, my last kit is Summer Quakers by or Summer Quaker by Lila Studio. We love Hilton Head, and so anything um, sea oriented really makes me happy. I love Quakers. Um, this is not a small stitch, but this called to me, so I purchased this. It, it also came, it did not come with linen, but it came with the 103s in a bag from Hobby House. What would you start with? Would you start a new start? Which one should I start? I also got some linen, but you don't care about that. One last thing I wanna show you that I got Stacy with Thread the Needle um, Stitchery. Is that what it's called? Um, she has a floss tube and they have a store front. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. They have an online shop. Her husband is a woodmaker, woodworker. And I bought this. I think it'd be really pretty for a dough ball with pillows. I need a tutorial on how to style a dough ball, I've decided. But these are my two um, spring Eastery pillows that I had shown you last time. But Think they would be nice in here so they they have some really nice products um both as um you know charts linen etc but um he has some nice wood products as well have i shown you everything have i told you everything 
retreats. Can I talk about that? So since Graham came home and my mother-in-law passed away, I decided I need to be home this month. So I had to cancel Library Stitcher's retreat in Maine. I'm very sorry and very sad that I won't be going. My friends are going and I'm gonna have FOMO, but I told them I think that they should just put me on a cart on an iPad and put me at the table and just let me visit around to all my friends. Like Brandy and Emma, I'm gonna miss them and the Boss Stitchers. Boston Stitchers, Boss Me Stitchers. Boston, what are, you know the girls from Boston. So I am not going to be there. Um, I, my husband says that I attend about half of the retreats I sign up and pay for. And that's probably about right. <laughs> Let's see, I've had three so far in 2024. One was Stitch Away, which I went the whole week. The second one was the one in Clearwater, Beach Please. And I was there for a day before I had to leave when Graham got sick. And now I'm canceling Maine. But, um, on a good news retreat situation, Graham was supposed to have surgery at the beginning of May. That was a planned surgery, and that has now been canceled because that boy needs to rest and recovery. So that means that I am signed up for the Queen City Sampler Guild um, Hands Across the Sea with Nicola retreat that I was going to have to cancel, but I did not, and I get to go now. Who will be there? We all be there? I'm going to need a table mate. Who wants to be my table mate for that? Um, so that's my retreat news. Another thing I wanted to tell you, um, we've as we've cleaned out my mother-in-law's apartment, etc. Um, we are a sentimental lot, my girls and I. So my um, my daughters were, you know, claiming things as my sister-in-law was um, sharing pictures of things. But my oldest daughter, Alyssa, has an Instagram account, and it's called Pop of Color. She has tons of decorating ideas, but one thing she just did. My mother-in-law had, I'm not sure if it was a punch needle or rug hook rug. I don't really know the difference, but it was a beautiful rug. And it just screamed Alyssa and her colors. She loves rifle paper, you know, all the florals. and But it had a lot of damage, probably from cats, etc. So my daughter, she's brave because I would have been too scared to do this. But she cut out some of the floral motifs and framed them. And they are absolutely stunning. So if you're ever looking for ideas um, for things like that, go to my daughter's Instagram, Pop of Color Projects, and I'll try to put her info information below. She has great ideas. She's very good with decorating and DIY and that sort of thing. I think I've told you everything I want to tell you. So um, I'll just remind you again, life is fragile. Please go love well today. Happy stitching. One more thing. Let me tell you that over the almost 40 years that I've known Tam, how many times I will either call her back or send a text that says one more thing because I forgot to tell her. So we might have a segment called one more thing. Maybe two. This is some of my legacy fiber arts stash. Excuse this. I started something on it and had to restart it. But I know a secret. Because I am in... Um, Sue's Facebook, no, I'm sorry, Instagram that I told you about last time. Can't think of what it's called. Periscope, Knit24 Periscope on Instagram. She is, I love her. She does a morning um, live on Instagram three days a week. But she's been dying fabric. And she sent some to Rachel. And Rachel said, I can tell you that it's gonna go live this weekend. Um, she didn't dye all of her colors, but she did some Ada and some, some lemon, len, linen. So Treehouse Fiber Arts is who sells Sue's Legacy Fiber Arts or LFA linen. That's what I stitched, I'm stitching my um, But God sale on. So go to Treehouse Fiber Arts and stock, stock them this weekend because you're going to want some of Sue's fabric, Ada and linen, I believe. The other thing I wanted to tell you about is many mansions. So my friends who are going to library stitchers are going to start Channing Street. And I had it laid out to pull the floss to start with them. I hope they're not mad at me, but 
when we went to the funeral home, my mother-in-law had pre-planned a lot of things and she had chosen John 14 as verses she wanted read. So as the funeral person was reading it, it talked about many mansions. And I immediately thought of this chart. And I know Sweetwater, um, Jessica is um, having a sow for this. By the way, last time at Channing Street, it was Jessica who did not stitch the animals in it that finally came to me. But I thought this would be really sweet to stitch for my husband in honor of his mother and not tell him. And I don't think he watches my floss tube, so I think I'm safe. But I might transition to this instead of Channing Street. Are you guys gonna be mad at me from the retreat? Okay, I think that's really all I have for you now, unless I think of one more thing.